Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A Davison school board member pleads guilty to malicious use of telecommunications services. Matthew Smith pleaded guilty as part of a plea deal during his final pretrial hearing. Houghton County Clerk Jennifer Kelly claimed she received a threatening phone call from him in March of 2020 in which he threatened to kill her dogs. The Committee for School Board Integrity started a petition to recall and replace Smith on the school board in response to the charge. Smith is also the chair of the Genesee County Republican Party and a former freelance reporter for TV5. Now, Smith admitted in court today to calling Kelly with the intent to annoy her, but did not say anything about the details of that phone call. He called his own actions totally inappropriate and apologized. He's scheduled to be sentenced on January 11th. And across Michigan, an Indiana officer recovering from injuries after two Kalamazoo County men were arrested in a suspected kidnapping and police chase. Troopers responded to I-94 Saturday after a caller said her daughter was being held against her will in a car. According to that caller, the suspects had a gun and were driving east from the Illinois state line. During the pursuit, the driver turned the car around and drove towards police, hitting and seriously injuring a Porter, Indiana officer. A woman in the car was also taken to the hospital. Michigan State Police and Kroger teaming up to feed 200 families in central and southeast Michigan for Thanksgiving. MSP community service troopers will identify families in need through local schools and other organizations and distribute the meals provided by Kroger. The company aims to donate 3 billion meals by 2025. All right, here's John Gross with a look at your forecast. Thank you very much, Blake. Let's go over the forecast as we're going throughout your Monday. It's going to be colder and breezy as we go into this afternoon and evening. Air temperatures in the 30s but you're going to be feeling more like the 20s for your wind chills today. That's going to come with the wind out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Could be a few flurries further north, but it looks like most of us are dry with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Decreasing clouds will be the name of the game as we go late tonight into your Tuesday. Colder temperatures again down into the 20s. Wind chills feeling like the teens out the door for your Tuesday morning. Seven day forecast. We get a few dry days midweek Tuesday and then again into the day on Wednesday. So that's going to be looking good. Pretty good for travel days ahead of the holiday. Day. A little warm up on Wednesday. It's upper 40s. We'll watch another system move in just in time for Thanksgiving. Looks like we'll start as rain change over to some snow showers and then there will be the chance for a few more rain and snow showers for the second half of your weekend with a colder air mass for the weekend back in the 30s. And the first one five weather center. I'm Darrell just John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.